talk a little bit about some of the problems with IQ. Uh, so, one of the first problems with IQ is that it is really only measuring one type of intelligence and how well you score on the IQ test, very specifically. There are many, many, many different types of intelligence and they are all valid and important. And having a very high score or a very low score in one particular type of intelligence doesn't necessarily um, predict success or failure in life. Uh, and so there's a misconception that having a high IQ uh, will be a good thing. However, a lot of people with high IQ will argue that having a high IQ kind of sets them up for failure because people expect so much of them because they have this high IQ, but that doesn't necessarily mean they have um, less difficulty with executive functioning uh, or other basic self-care tasks. So IQ doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to get the best job or necessarily be successful in life. Uh, and the other problem with IQ is some people who are just you know, brilliant in their own way, just don't score well on an IQ test, or some people may not be good test takers. And so, you know, the test is very limited. It really is only um, made to test one type of intelligence. And so, you know, people who have a lower IQ score, you know, they may actually do better in life than some people with a high IQ score. Uh, I just wanted to point out, like this, this is a really not a great tool to measure competence and intelligence. Um, and some people invest too much in it, like, oh, my IQ score is this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean like someone with high IQ is better with someone with a lower score, you know, all of that, that supremacy stuff. It's just kind of gross. It's not a competition. We all have different strengths, gifts, and weaknesses, and IQ is just one number that is, in my opinion, highly limited. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for hanging out this week. I will talk to you next time.